So this is the basic Twitter scraper that I have sitting on my dashboard. I'm going to make a copy of this, um, a copy of the code, not the data store, by hitting fork this scraper. So once I click this button, it goes into the editor tab, which shows, shows me the raw pieces of code. And now I am going to make changes to it because the save scraper button is grayed out. I'm going to actually put in um, what I want scraped from Twitter. I'm going to make a change to the name. I'm going to save it. And now it is on my dashboard. And so I'm going to run it. And in the console, I've uh, told it to print out all the tweets. So you should see the tweets that are being scraped printed out. Yeah, here they come. And also in the data tab, this is what's being saved into the data store. So I get the tweets, I get the unique ID for each tweet, and I also get the name of the person who has been tweeting it. Now, because this is being scraped from Twitter, um, I'll set it to run each day. And so the tweets per day is then added on top of the data store. That way, if it's no longer on Twitter, it will always be in your data store once you've started it running from that particular point in time. So I go to the console. I can see how long it's taken to run. And now this is being saved into the data store. If I hadn't hit save this scraper with my name on there and made any changes to it and set it running, um, it would not have been saved. So you need to make sure that you set up an account and that you're logged in. So I'm going to stop it and I'm going to show you how to retrieve the data. Okay, so we've got 200 tweets. So to get it out, I hit download as CSV and it downloads and I can open it up in Excel. And that's the quickest and easiest way to get your data out. And as well as that, I can schedule the scraper. So edit schedule and I can schedule it to run every two days, every three days, once a week, every two months and I'll leave it to set once a day and so I can check it and that's a quick and simple way to get a Twitter scraper.